In today's competitive camera market, it's crucial to make the right choice for your photography and videography needs. While the Canon EOS R8 offers some appealing features, there are compelling reasons not to buy it. So, let's dive into the details and discuss some of the limitations of the Canon EOS R8 while comparing it with some better alternatives. The EOS R8 boasts a 24.2 megapixel full frame CMOS image sensor, which might seem impressive at first. However, in a rapidly advancing market, competitors like the Sony A7 IV offer a 33 megapixel sensor, resulting in more detailed images with better cropping potential. A higher resolution sensor will provide you with more flexibility in post processing particularly if you plan to print your images in large format or need extra detail for professional work. Although the EOS R8 claims to provide uncropped 4K video at up to 60 frames per second, oversampled from 6K, it's essential to consider that many cameras now offer native 6K or even 8K recording capabilities. For instance, the Panasonic Lumix S1R provides 6K video recording, giving you more detail, better color depth, and enhanced post-processing options for video professionals and enthusiasts alike. Additionally, the Canon EOS R5 offers 8K video recording, providing even more flexibility and creative possibilities in the video department. The EOS R8 can continuously record 4K UHD or Full HD video for up to 2 hours at 29.97 frames per second. While this may be sufficient for some users, it's worth considering that other cameras, like the Panasonic GH5, offer unlimited recording time, giving you more flexibility and peace of mind during extended shoots. Moreover, the Sony A7S III offers recording times of up to 4 hours, which is double the recording time of the EOS R8, providing an extra cushion for videographers who require extended shooting durations. With a price tag of $1,499, the EOS R8 may seem like a reasonably priced full-frame camera. However, given the limitations discussed earlier, you may find better value for money by exploring other options on the market. For example, the Nikon Z6 II offers similar features with more advanced video capabilities at a comparable price, making the EOS R8 a less attractive option. Additionally, the Sony A7 III, an older model but still popular among photographers and videographers, can be found at a lower price point with features that closely match or even surpass those of the EOS R8. Although the EOS R8 includes some appealing features, such as in-camera compositing and animal detection, these are not unique to this camera. Competing models like the Sony A7 IV often include these same features or more advanced versions making the EOS R8 less of a standout choice for those seeking innovative and cutting-edge technology. For instance, the Nikon Z6 II offers a similar animal detection feature but with more refined tracking capabilities, ensuring that you never miss a shot of your favorite pets or wildlife. Furthermore, it's important to consider the native lens lineup available for the EOS R8. Although the RF mount offers access to a range of creative lenses, it's still a relatively new system with fewer options compared to more established lens ecosystems like Canon's own EF lineup or Sony's E-mount system. Adapting lenses from other systems may result in slower autofocus or compatibility issues, which could impact your shooting experience. In contrast, other camera systems, such as the Fujifilm X-T4, boast a wide range of native lenses ensuring that photographers and videographers have access to the best possible optical performance. In terms of connectivity, the EOS R8 offers UVC slash UAC compatibility for webcam and streaming, allowing it to be used as a web camera without additional software. However, this feature is also becoming increasingly common in other cameras, such as the Fujifilm X-T4, Nikon Z6 II, and the Sony A7 IV, diminishing the uniqueness of the EOS R8 in this aspect. With the growing demand for high-quality video conferencing and streaming, many camera manufacturers have made this feature a standard addition, making the EOS R8 less exceptional in this regard. When it comes to autofocus performance, the EOS R8 features dual-pixel CMOS AF2, 
covering up to 100% x 100% of the picture area and providing up to 1053 automatically selected AF zones. While this is undoubtedly an impressive feature, some competitors like the Nikon Z62 and the Sony A74 offer even faster autofocus systems with more advanced tracking capabilities. Additionally, the Sony A74 boasts an impressive 759 phase detection autofocus points, providing even greater accuracy and versatility when capturing fast-moving subjects. The EOS R8's built-in image stabilization, Movie Digital IS, offers 5-axis image stabilization for video recording. While this can be helpful for handheld video shooting, it is important to note that other cameras, such as the Sony A74 and Panasonic Lumix S1R, provide more advanced in-body image stabilization IBIS, systems that work for both stills and video. These more advanced systems allow for smoother footage and sharper images, even in challenging shooting conditions. In terms of build and design, the EOS R8 is the lightest full-frame Canon EOS camera, weighing less than a pound. While this may be appealing for those seeking a lightweight and compact camera, it's essential to consider the trade-offs in terms of build quality and durability. Other cameras, such as the Nikon Z62 and Fujifilm X-T4, offer a more robust build and enhanced weather sealing, making them better suited for rugged outdoor use and challenging shooting environments.